Newman and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are making a chicken pot pie. This is going to be a homemade made from scratch recipe. I've made the pie crust for our pot pie. I made the chicken broth to make the velouté sauce to add the liquid to the pot pie. You certainly do not have to take all of these steps. You are welcome to modify this however you feel fit and based on your time agenda. I certainly don't make it this way every time, but I love to make it this way when I have time. So today I had the day off work and I was able to spend the day in the kitchen and I've been having a great time today. So I've got some butter melted down. I'm going to go ahead and add in um, three stalks of celery. I have four medium carrots that I've peeled and diced and one sweet onion. I'm going to reserve the garlic till a little bit later because it cooks pretty quick. And once it cooks, um, if it overcooks then it gets kind of bitter and that's not a very good flavor that we want in our pot pie. I'm going to go ahead and give those a stir in our melted butter. I have this set to medium, medium, low. I'll keep an eye on it. And I've got about five tablespoons of melted butter in here. So while our mirepoix breaks down, I'm going to add a good pinch of salt to it. It's going to add seasoning. It's also going to help draw out all of the moisture in the vegetables. Um, and help give us a little bit more liquid in there. So they're going to sweat down for a few minutes and, and then we'll add in the garlic and start adding in the flour that it's kind of like um, we made a roux earlier today, a blonde roux, and I had the butter melted and then added the flour. Well I want to sweat the vegetables first and then I'll go ahead and add the flour. Kind of the same step and then we'll go ahead and add in our chicken stock to make the velouté sauce for this. So in the meantime, I'm going to get started on my biscuits. We're going to have those with dinner tonight, and I will see you guys in a few minutes. All right, everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. I have sweat down my carrots and celery and onions, my mirepoix for my chicken pot pie. I'm going to go ahead and add the garlic in. Just let that go a minute. Like I said, I don't want to let that go too long. I'm going to let my carrots and celery go for about 10 to 12 minutes. If I would have let the garlic go that long, it would have become really bitter and burnt. Um, so you just need to do it about a minute. It starts getting really fragrant. You can smell the garlic, and that's whenever you know you can start. Um, we're going to dust this with flour. I need about a quarter of a cup. Go ahead and just move that around and get all of the butter and liquid from the vegetables soaked up in that. and the sauce should kind of dissolve back into itself. Alright, so I'm almost there with my sauce. I've been adding the chicken stock in slowly. I'm going to go ahead and add in, I've got about two to three cups of chicken here. I'm going to add that in. I've just cut that into, I don't know, maybe a three quarter inch to half inch uh, dice there. I'm going to mix that in. I also have some frozen peas into this pot pie, a little untraditional, I've added um, some fresh corn to it. I just took it right off of the cob and added it in. We had some leftover from the weekend and just wanted to use that up. You could add anything you wanted to this, though you really could vary the flavor to um, any cuisine that you wanted. So today, I just have the peas and the corn in there. You could add mushrooms if you like them. I am not a mushroom fan at all. 
Um, so there aren't any in my pot pie, but it is a very traditional item to have in pot pie. So you certainly could cut up some button mushrooms or um, some baby bellas and add in here. So it's looking pretty good. It's got a really good consistency. I want just a little more liquid because I know once I get it in the oven, it is going to thicken up. I'm going to add just a little bit more of my chicken broth here. I'm also going to add a good pinch of salt. Got a little bit of white pepper that I'm going to add in there as well. I'm going to turn this down to low. And I'm going to go ahead and get my pie crust rolled out and start getting my pot pie dishes ready. So I have a couple of pie crusts here. You can click um, down below and find my recipe for pie crust. The one that I had demoed in that video was for a um, sweet pie crust. So I had an option to add cinnamon. To this one, I do like a flavored pie crust, so I added a little bit of salt, pepper, thyme, and oregano. Get this rolled out. Flour on my pin here, get my dough nice and floured up. I'm going to roll this out pretty thin. Um, I'm going to get two pot pie coverings from each um, crust. So I'm going to lay my first one down, and I want to cut about, I don't know, maybe an inch or so, maybe a little more around each one. It doesn't have to be perfect or beautiful. Go ahead and take my dough here. I'm going to grab a ladle and fill my ramekin with some of my pot pie mixture. And then I'm just going to brush the outside of the ramekin with a little bit of an egg wash. This is just one egg with a tablespoon of water. I'm just going to brush it around the edges here, so that way my crust will stick to it. I'm just going to cover it over the top and press it down around there. I'm also going to brush the top of it with some egg wash because that really helps give it a nice golden color. Make sure you get down the sides as well so that way it's nice and even. Now you want to cut a little vent into the pot pie so that way the steam can escape. It doesn't have to be too big. This next part is entirely up to you. I like to have just a little bit of color on the on the top of my crust. So I just add a little bit of cracked pepper. It gives the crust a little bit of flavor. Kind of helps give it even a more rustic feel. So I'm just going to transfer this over to a foil lined baking sheet. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of them going. I have my oven preheated to 425, and I will bake these for about 15 to 20 minutes. So I'll go ahead and get the rest of these done, and I'll show you what they look like when they come out. All right, guys, so I just took the pot pies out of the oven. This one has been cooling for just a few minutes. You can see it has a nice golden brown crust. That is from our egg wash that we brushed on there before we baked it. And I'm just going to chop right into it. It's nice and crunchy. Our velouté sauce is really creamy. I'm going to go ahead and grab a bite. It's really hot. It's nice because the edges, it kind of cooks around. You have a nice crispy kind of crouton to dip into it as you're eating it. Really good, guys. I look forward to seeing your videos. Please tag me in social media at Chef Nicole Newman. I'm telling you what, you've got to try the homemade chicken broth. It really makes all the difference in this. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to go have dinner. Bye, guys.